it's Queen Diva, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 2 of Grimgar, of Fantasy, and Ash. Okay, before I get started, um, with last week's episode, you know how I said, um, skip, like, the first 13 seconds, because the fact is that I downloaded the episode from Kiss Anime? Well, when I was downloading Monogatari and 100, and I looked this show up again, and went and typed it in on Google Anime Hub, they actually had the episodes, and I was like, oh, okay, I'm just going to download everything on here now. So skip, like, the first 11 seconds of um, the intro for TV Tokyo, which I think, no, not TV Tokyo, that's 100, um, the Funimation logo, and then start the episode with me. So other than that, let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <sighs> How do we even at least remember something tonight? Like, are we gonna have a really weird dream about your past? Something? I know how that felt. But it's summertime now, it's really cold. You sure not a lot? I mean, but M Manato, he is older than you, correct? Like, so he is 21, he can... Drink if you want. Ah, uh, okay. Well, he's the leader. It's what he's supposed to do, Argus. But it's all worth it, right? Okay. And what would you have done? <laughs> I mean, is everybody in your group able to drink? I'm just saying. I mean, even though in an isekai world, you don't got to be like, oh, hey, here's my ID. So. Blood. It's pretty well. So, okay, quick question. Are we eventually going to see the other group that left towards the, um, I think it was the bridge in the previous episode? And how they're doing? Because wouldn't they want to meet up and discuss, like, a plan or something? Or is it just like, okay, fuck you, like, no, we're just all on our own. Yeah, a, a blood moon is weird. And usually that's signs of something. Like, no one's gonna die in this series, right? I, I swear, because this is too... It's too light. And 
it's pretty. I don't want anybody to die in this series. Like, come on, man. Can, like, honestly, and I'm going to say this, like, out of... I'm not going to compare them to other isekais right now. But I don't want this to be one of those isekais where, like, somebody dies. Do not tell me if somebody freaking dies in this series. Because I don't want to know yet until it's time for someone if they die. But if it's someone that does, like, it's going to be someone who's really important to the group. Who's really going to be, like, a big-ass value to them. Like, the heart of it. Also, I need them to start remembering something. It's like three over there. Oh, just one. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Oh, he just getting water. No. Nobody going guns blazing. Yep, never mind. There's always that one who is like, yes, let me go ahead. Guns blazing. Yelling attack. No, oh, you see you may stop them. Uh. Mm, I do. Well, you are the first one there. <laughs> My thing is, why her got this little small ass dagger? Like, what the hell is that gonna do? It could be like a little dang paper kite. Oh. Hmm. At least you tried. Mm -hmm, yeah, because he is bleeding now. Oh my god, don't freak out right now! Is he calling others? Cody, stop. I, I know. Hell, you were shaking after you cut him. I mean, you stabbed him, and the next thing you know. Ooh. 
Y'all just gonna stand there while he chokes him? Well, now he's really dead. <sighs> Don't pull it out quickly. <sighs> ah, okay. And then you can get money for it, right? Uh -huh. Well, usually, like they say, the first kill is the most per like, no, have the most PTSD with it. I mean, you know, now I actually see in, like, the first half of this episode, there are dark moments now, especially with the fact that they had to kill that goblin. And, hell, it was crying in agony. It didn't want to be killed. I mean, but in this world, it's killed or be killed. You never know when someone is going to die when anything could happen to you. One day you could be fine, and then the next day you're dead. I can understand it can be hard to kill a living thing like that and have their blood on your hands. And see, you would try to calm my ass down with like a cute therapeutic song. Hi, puppy. I'm here. Okay.
Can you use your talk? No? Oh, okay. <laughs> you made it just adorable. Both of them are adorable as hell. I mean, I like the fact that they're showing them doing other things in this show besides just thinking about, oh yeah, we killed a goblin today, and just having that on their mind constantly for the whole entire episode. But still, in the back of probably like Haru's mind and what's his face is mine, like they're just gonna be thinking, yeah, I stabbed a goblin today and I killed it. Ah. It. Oh. Yeah, you would think it would do something else. So then is it a possibility that Haru can possibly get a demon or like a summon as well? And the same for the rest of them? Or are there certain things that they can only get because of what they've chosen for, like, their job. I'm glad that you're happy that you're getting all this attention, dog. <sighs> I still feel like something bad's gonna happen. I mean, come on, the moon is red again. Blood moon. Not good.
Yeah. Well, that's the thing you'll never know. I'm also hoping that even though, yeah, they're struggling now, that something good is going to come their way. That they will be successful. They'll get a lot of money and they'll be able to live somewhere else. and Or they can still live there and just have better things for themselves. You know? Where are you going? No, because the girls are in the bath. That's why. And there he goes. Ron said this is a bad idea. Mm -hmm. And that's what you get. Yeah, I mean, if you three just would have stayed in bed, everything would have been fine. <laughs> Oh my god, I mean, I love the lightheartedness in this episode, even with the slight, and that's what I'm going to call it, slight killing in this episode with a little bit of a twist of darkness in it. It was sweet. It's just, you know, I, I, I do feel bad for Ronda and Haru. They're, they're the ones that killed it. Really more of Ronda than Haru, but they both stabbed it. But Ranta was the one who stabbed it multiple times. And he's going to have to live with that guilt until the end of his days. You know, that's like, no matter what you do, you're going, it's going to be in your mind, like, um, when the next day, the next day, the following day, the following week, the following month, um, when you possibly hey, graduate college, when you get married on your wedding night, whatever, whatever you did, so many years ago, is still going to play in the back of your mind so many times. I I'm just hoping with this, like I said at the beginning, nobody freaking dies in this series. Let it be a series where everybody's going to be okay, 100%, that they do end up getting successful later on and getting better things for their home and for themselves, able to get more food and stuff, because, I mean, they don't, like, sometimes you never know when their next meal's going to be, and I feel bad for them, like, Honestly, to not know how much money you're going to get after killing one goblin, two goblins, several goblins, maybe um, an ogre possibly, but I think they're just going, I, I think that's a goblin as well, um, they're just going for goblins just to be on the safe side for a little bit, but then eventually they're going to possibly try to go for an ogre or something that's a high level ranking and that's when I think something bad is going to happen to this group, whether um, it is someone possibly dying or someone gets really injured to the point where they can't um, work anymore. And, you know, they're paralyzed and they have to also take care of this person while getting money. He's going to he or she, whoever gets paralyzed or hurt or whatever will need money for medicine and care and, and things like that. So how are you going to balance that and then plus anything else? Like, thank God they don't have to worry about bills in this world. They're just worrying about, you know, food, 
what um yeah food water maybe um anytime if they want to get clothes or anything extra and how they can divide their money on certain things like what's important now and what's important later like what is a need and what is a want like i want this but I need this more. And like for them, the food, I think like right now their biggest priority is food. Um, and then maybe getting blankets because they're all sleeping and cuddling and hey, and I'm hoping that they can get some blankets at least for themselves because who knows how much like a blanket could be cost, like how much food is cost. Like, I don't know. I mean, it's an isekai and going into real world aspect or to isekai is like you know it's not going to be the same it is possibly going to be as expensive as something in the real world like i don't even remember how much like a blanket is cost it depends on the blanket like i think blankets start out as like what 20 30 dollars that like a lot of people will say oh that's not expensive but like when you are struggling which is what this is what's going on with these kids to them Anything they try to get is going to be expensive as hell. And they always need to take time um, for the little things to get something. Like, uh, what's-her-face, um, Manoto giving what's-her-face the barrette, um, Yumi and her uh, playing around. Everyone just, like, chilling after the fact that is killing the goblin. And the fact that they only have, like, he said 18 um, coins per person. So, you know, there's like, let me go back real quick. There is, there is one, two, three, four, five, six people in this group. And everyone gets 18 each. So you do six times 18, that's 108. That's still not enough for like possibly anything. Because like I said, who knows how much anything in this world could be. 108 coins in a way, is like, jack shit to nothing. What? You could buy groceries, like, a whole bunch of food. But, oh no. It's like, you, in a way, they have to spend their money wisely in this series. And I, I think that's, like, the one thing that I really like about this. It's very, it, it, it's interesting. And it's very different from others. Because others have had, like, characters like this is not me going back and comparing it in a way kind of it is um in a way they could start out with a whole bunch of money while in this series they have very little money to themselves and they have to go out on their own and get a job and get the money themselves so that they can have food have shelter and stuff like that but it's a really good series and i really enjoyed this episode but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode two of grimgar of fantasy and ash if you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matchless Squad. And of course, I will see you guys all officially. Patreons um, next Saturday and everyone else next Tuesday for episode 3. Bye, guys.